Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Cube World tutorials. So some of you have been asking lately if I can do a video on missions and dungeons. Um, I did briefly cover this in my Let's Play, so if you haven't seen that then do check it out. But if you did want this in a slightly more traditional tutorial format, then that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to split this into two separate videos. This one is on missions and my next one will be on dungeons. Okay, so missions are generated every Cube World day. Um, that's in real time, so you know each day there's a selection of missions generated within your kind of area. Um, obviously, if you do complete them all, you can go to your next kind of area, zone, biome, you know, whatever you want to call it. But if you can cross the border, you can get some new quests. But they are, you know, once you completed them, they're not generated till the next day. Now, typically, a mission involves defeating some kind of boss monster, um, be that you know, outside or in a dungeon. But that's basically what you got to do. So normally, you walk up to the area, a little kind of box will appear up on the side and it will say, you know, defeat the ruler of XYZ. Now if you complete a mission, it not only rewards you with valuable items, but it also rewards you with platinum coins. And these can be spent at the mission master to basically upgrade your weapons and armor to your current level. Um, so say for example you have like, you know, a weapon that you really really like, and then you outlevel it, um, you can use these platinum coins to bring that weapon up to your level. Do bear in mind this can only be done once per item, so if there's, for example, a weapon that you've spent ages crafting and make it, make it look really cool, Make sure you do it at the right time. So if you've just got to level 15 and you know you've gone up a couple of levels, don't waste it. Make sure you save your platinum coin because once you've used it on the item, that's it. Um, the items, as for the items that the boss drops, they are kind of in line with what the boss itself is. So for example, if you're fighting a warrior boss, it will typically drop warrior items. If you're fighting a mage, it will drop mage items. You know, etc. Obviously, if it's a boss, something like a dinosaur or a, I don't know, a bee or I don't know, whatever it is. If it's a monster that's not in line with one of the classes, then it'll drop something random, but that's kind of how you can expect what to get. Um, to actually find missions, if you bring up your map, you'll see that on the map there is a kind of cross swords icon, and that basically indicates your quest, so you don't need to kind of pick these quests up from anyone in the town, you can literally just walk over to them and then pick them up. Incidentally, you can actually also tame some of the boss monsters, you know, if it's a monster that's kind of a bigger version of one of the existing ones and you've got the respective food, you can actually tame them. Um, but bear in mind that if you tame the boss monster, it doesn't complete the mission, it just renders it impossible to finish. If for some reason you do get to a point where you want to reset the mission, um, what you can also do is go to the innkeeper inside any city, and basically when you speak to him in the same way that it resets the time of day, it will also reset missions and dungeons and everything like that. So that's something else to bear in mind. So if we take a look at what I'm actually doing here, um, in the background you'll see that I came up to kind of this big sort of cliff mountain sort of thing um, and then obviously the icon appeared on the side saying I need to defeat the ruler um, but unfortunately he's located at the top of the mountain so I'm going to have to climb it um, to get to it but if you pay attention to the mini map you'll see there's a little white skull icon basically when you get in the vicinity and it pops up saying defeat the ruler then the white skull kind of roughly indicates where they're located so you can clearly see here he's at the top so I'm going to climb all the way up and then carry on from there. So now I'm at the top, um, unfortunately taking a look at the boss, he's actually a boss plus two. Um, you get different kind of strength bosses, just like how with normal enemies you get kind of white names, blue names, orange names, red names. Bosses are denoted with purple names, but then you also get kind of different level bosses. And this is a boss plus two. I have actually been adventuring kind of a bit further than I probably should at the moment, and this guy is a bit too strong for me to fight. Um, but to be honest that's not really important for the sake of this video. The point is, this is now the boss. so. Were I to defeat him, I would complete the quest, it would reward me with an item, a platinum coin, and then that would be it. Cross swords would, would disappear from the map, and then it would be all finished. Um, but that is pretty much it for missions. So yeah, just to kind of like quickly wrap up, they're denoted by cross swords on the map. You go up to them, when you're in the vicinity, it will activate the mission, you defeat the boss, you complete the mission, you get rewards, platinum coins, and that's about it. So that's all you really need to know about missions. They are going to obviously expand them in the beta and the... Um, final game and you know add more to them but for the time being it's pretty much just defeat the boss monster hopefully this has cleared it up a little bit hopefully it's kind of given you a bit of clarity um if you have any questions then obviously drop a comment down below or if you want me to cover something else then again drop a comment down below but otherwise thanks for watching obviously don't forget to like and share this video it does really help me out and obviously don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to check out their twitter page the facebook page and the arix gaming website for all your gaming news throughout the week but otherwise thanks for watching take it easy catch you next time peace out